Okay, guys. Uh, it's recording, right? Yes, it's recording. Okay. I, I'm using this little handheld camera. I Usually, on my regular video camera, I have a flip screen on it so I can see whether it's recording or not. But I'm using a pocket camcorder. The screen's on the back. I can't see it, so I don't know if I'm recording. It's a touch screen. And it doesn't have a light or anything on the front to show me it's recording. <sighs> anyway. Um... I'm out here in the backyard watering the plants, and I got to thinking about something. Um, I want to talk to you guys about gas prices. And I realized that there's been a serious lack of news on the high gas prices. It's not like it was in 2000. Again, I'm sorry about the wind noise if there's any on this video. Hopefully you guys can hear me. There is absolutely a lack of news, a lack of news reports on the high gas prices. Does this bother you? It bothers me. Remember back in 2008 when the gas prices were this high? It was all over the news. There was, there was pressure on the government to do something about it. You don't hear anything about any of that now. Or if you do, let me know, because I haven't. And I usually check the news on a regular basis on MSN and Yahoo. I don't read the newspapers really anymore because I just don't. I get all of my news online, so I read the newspaper. I don't watch the news on television anymore because it's just depressing. Especially here in Detroit. But, um... I just, I noticed... You know, we've, right, I don't know what the national average is, I think it's around, but we're paying around 380 a gallon in this area. That irritates me that there has been a lack of news on that. It's like, okay, where were these same media, where was every, you know, the same government, where was everybody that was there in 2008 that put pressure on the government and the oil companies? to report why the gas prices were so high. You're not hearing anything about that now. Nothing. Um, that kind of irritates me. We're paying almost $4 a gallon for gas. Uh, in some parts of the country, I heard it's more, in some parts of the country, less. But it's just irritating that there has been a lack of news on that unlike 2008 and maybe it's because there was such an uproar about it in 2008 that there's a lack of news on it here in 2011 but I just I gotta switch hands here there we go it irritates me it just absolutely irritates me I, it irritates everybody I mean we're all we're all getting screwed by the gas prices each and every one of us you me the guy that lives next door everybody we're all getting screwed the gas prices are terrible. I can understand the gas prices being this high if it had gradually gone up this high over time and this is just the normal for what we pay. But I just don't understand why the gas prices go up and down so drastically. It was this time in 2010, I want to say it was, we weren't paying this much for gas. I don't remember paying over $3 a gallon for gas in the summer of 2010. Do you? How about the summer of 2009? Summer, actually, last year, we may have paid over $3 a gallon. It might have gotten up to about as high as three twenty a gallon, if I remember right. But we weren't paying nearly $4 a gallon. That I know. And we weren't paying nearly $4 a gallon in 2009 either. I know that for a fact. It might have been a little over $3, but it definitely wasn't 4 In 2008, we definitely paid up the ass. Just like we are this year. Here's my question. Why? Why are the gas prices so high this summer? Is it going to be just like it was in 2008? We pay $4 a gallon up until right after Labor Day, and then the gas prices are going to plummet? Is there, are we, 
I just I don't get it. Why are we paying so much for gas? I mean, it's not that we're paying so much for gas. Why did the gas prices go so high so fast? If the gas prices were at $4 a gallon, but along with inflation, the price of gas went up to $4 a gallon over time, just like the price inflated of everything else, I would say, okay, I can understand that. That's fine, because the price of gas inflated with everything else. But the price of gas didn't inflate with everything else. The price of gas inflated at an enormous rate, faster than anything else I've seen. Uh, hold on, I gotta switch hands again. Okay. I'm just, I'm watching this gas prices and it's just amazing. It amazes me. How can the oil companies get away with gouging like this? I guarantee you Exxon, BP, well, I don't know about BP after the oil spill in the Gulf of Mexico, but Exxon and other oil companies, it wouldn't surprise me one bit if they show profits this year like they did in 2008. It would not surprise me at all if they show profits in the, in, in the high, you know, in billions, billions and billions of dollars. If I remember right, in 2008, Exxon reported uh, 30, 30 plus billion dollars in profit. And we paid $4 a gallon for that. It's 2008 all over again. I can feel it. Why are we feeding these oil companies so much money? I'm, it's going to get to the point where I'm going to quit driving my car. I'm going to work a half mile from home. I might as well walk. How about you guys? I, leave me some comments below in this video. Are you guys doing anything to cut back on, you know, to save money on fuel? Cutting back on, you know, having to pay extra money, there's all this extra money for our gas? What are you guys doing to uh, cut back on the costs? I want to, I want to hear your, I want to hear you guys' thoughts on this. Post uh, something in the comments, give me a video response even, to one of the three or four people that are actually going to see this video. I want to hear your thoughts on the gas prices. Well, that's all I got for you guys. I'll talk to you later.